Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Sinking City. Uh, we are going to go after these fucking whatever, these brain cylinders. Whatever the hell. So it's on this street somewhere. Oh, here we go. So there's a way up, up there. This is first aid. Alright. I mean, I'm assuming that it's... How am I supposed to get over here, though? Is there maybe a way down there, or...? Is there a way up here? disappear. It's like, what the fuck? Ah, here we go. But there has to be a way over. Alright, so we go down here. Do 
we use this to get up here. Form Omega-5. Um, hey, Crowley, return to Earth, next address. You, did you really think uh, it was his real brain? I can't believe that. Okay, Northern Advent. Crossroads of Forefather Street. Wait, what? And wind half. So, like, over here. Alright, so it's in the uh, infected zone. Oh, this is the bank. see here again we don't have any fucking rags but we have plenty of this crap Is that the first aid kit okay I can't tell by the symbol you have I have to actually like see that this? Yeah. Form Omega-6. Uh, F. Morgan refused to cooperate. Return to Earth. Uh, notes, I've told you. Intersection, uh, okay. Just... Central Reed Heights. Intersection of Sam uh, Reed Street and Bolton Lane. Use Sam Reed Street. Well, you know what that means, everybody! Woohoo! Time for the fucking guide again. Shout out to Neo Seeker for this shit. Ok, 
Okay, so like... So I'm a, I have Omega 4, 5, and 6. This guide shows Alpha. Oh, that's for functional brain cylinders. Where the fuck is this? Intersection of Sam Reed Street and Bolton Lane! Where the fuck is Bolton Lane? Central Reed Heights. Here's Sam Reed Street. Okay, Sam Reed Street ends here. There's Walden, Dwight. Pemberton, Innsmouth. Sam Reed Street goes through Oak. Ibin and Yellow King. Dar uh, Darwin. Ward. And it ends right here. There's no Bolton Lane! Where the fuck? God. All the guides are like for the functional brain cylinders. Oh, here it is. No, I had to look at a fucking map to see it. So, it's here. God. I'm so fucking tired of just not being able to find anything. This game is just like... It's, it's severely annoying in how this... How everything works in this. Like, the combat is annoying. The, the fuck... Everything is annoying. Like, the only thing good about this game is the story. And I'm really starting to wonder if I want to do an actual, like, full playthrough of this. Or if I'm just going to stop playing it. Because I'm starting to feel that way. Because, like, we just keep getting, like, side quest after side quest. And they're all literally the same fucking thing. Like, they're all, they're all like, they're all just like, go fetch this, go fetch that. And even the main quest, it's like, it's like running back and forth between, like, the bullshit.
God damn it. I mean, what the fuck is that going to do for me? I'm guessing it's probably somewhere in here. Oh, this guy is one of those fucking regenerative guys that, like, gets up again. You have to, like, you have to shoot him multiple times. Okay, so there's nothing down here. So then maybe I check upstairs. I'm not, like, doing any damage to him whatsoever. God damn. So then where the fuck is this?
Mega One. Uh, R. Carter, Moonbase Alpha Centauri, Return to Earth per Traveler's Request. Uh, what a pity. I thought this Traveler would be a great company on my way home. Maybe we'll ask him once more. Okay, so Eastern Grimhaven Bay to Whisper Street, uh, Whisper Street between Central Street, between Central Street and Deep Shore Road. So here. It's just like I'm not getting like enough materials. That's my problem. And then see it's like, oh you can't carry more of this, can't carry more of this, can't carry more of this. Just go here. It's really the closest. Okay, so I want to go this way. So I'm guessing we're going after two. So I'm guessing there's like six of these. We have a we have a six. So we, what do we what ones do we have? We have a six, five, and four. So we need one. So oh, and one. So we need two and three. bastards. I do want to kill a lot of these guys. I do want to kill a lot of these guys because uh, of the experience. I 
I'm, I want to get as much experience as I can to get more and more of these uh, things. Alright, well, I'm assuming it's probably here. Instructions for the needy. If you feel you can't stand the hunger, pain, and diseases of this world, accept my gift. The blue pill you've got in your hands. The blue pill you've got in your hand is my answer to your prayers. Take it and you'll be fed. Take it and the pain will go away. The next hour of your life will be blessed. Uh, one pill and you'll be happy to the end of your life, I promise. Bluebird. Form Omega-2. Traveler S. March. Couldn't bear the stress. Return to Earth. Do we really need to send back the travelers like this? It's a waste of time if you ask me. Alright, so... Eastern Coverside. Kingsport Street. East from the intersection with Victory Lane. So it's somewhere like on that over like over there. Let me search for all these uh, containers and shit up here. monster I'm guessing it's underneath us which is makes it glitch all right so let's make our way so we can take the fast travel. Alright, so... to go down around here. Pull on that. looks like an XKK, yeah. The whitest whites, laundry for, laundry tips for discerning women. Yeah. We got some, some fascist bullshit. Old KKK hideout.
Cyrus. That's right, I can't use my thing while there's like monsters here. Again though, where's the fucking creature? The fuck are you? Oh. He's trying to kill the fucking monster. Which again, I don't know how I'm supposed to get to that thing. I thought that guy was trying to attack me. Wow, I lost all my fucking sanity. I lost all my sanity because of that? The guy was attacking me. The guy literally attacked me. So what do you want me to do? So I need to get in here. So I already know that that's what this is. Well, I guess we know what happens when you kill a civilian. Uh, Form Omega-3. Uh, our Olmstead visited moon base uh, de deactivated by a meteor returned to Earth. Someone was following me here. I deactivated him. Eastern Coverside Asylum. Here we go. Alright, well, uh, we got that done. We have two experience points. Alright, so we have everything in the mind now. We have all of these. Um, kind of want, let's do, let's do one more medical. Let's get the, yeah, let's do this so we can carry more rifle rounds. So we can carry four of these now. All right, so. Bob Morton's expedition was attacked. Uh, so, crimes. Okay, so... Police station, I'm guessing, then? We want to head to the police station? Look for more crimes.
so to the police station we go. So close my door here. So, all right. So we're we're wanting to investigate crimes related to the Innsmouth Innsmouthers, but specifically related to that dagger and the pocket thing. All right. Um. Dagger, particular golden amulet, amulet that for symbols of fish eye. So violent, so violent crimes, instruments of crime, suspects, police report, uh, at about 10.30 p.m. April 15th in the fish market, Eastern Shells, uh, corner of Orchard Ave and Holly Fire Lane, I apprehended a, sus a suspicious looking insmouther. As he was stalking a young woman, the suspect had, a, had in his possession a particular golden amulet which resembled a fish eye seized as well as a dagger seized. The suspect resisted arrest. When I tried to cuff him, he cried for help, screaming for his brothers from, uh, from Iod. Several other armed Innsmouthers appeared from the fish market. I was forced to release said Innsmouther and retreat. The suspect got away. The case is pending further investigation. Okay, so... Eastern Shells, corner of Orchard Ave and Holly Fire Lane, which is literally right here, right next to the, yeah, every fucking time, right next to the, uh, fast travel. Go fish market. Oh, look at that guy's cultist ass tattoos. Fish, fresh fish, fish, fresh fish. No, take as much as you need, it won't cost you a penny. Don't be shy, we have enough for everyone. I've heard that I can find an organization hereabouts that goes by the name of the EOD. Am I in the right place? You sure are. I happen to be a representative of the EOD. Pleased to meet you. My name's Anna. Can I help you with something? Uh, Charles Reed. Just a few questions, if I may. <laughs> of course. Ask away, Charlie. What is the EOD? I mean, what, what do you do as an organization? Well, we are a non-profit charitable organization. <laughs> Actually, it's better to say that we're a gathering of volunteers. We're not an official charity yet. As for what we do, we try to help ease the suffering in our city as much as we can. Oh. How do you do that? We provide fish for the hungry and fix the homes of the poor. We also patrol the streets at night to keep the wild beasts and bandits at bay. And many, many more things. Whatever needs doing. Anything to help the people, Charlie. Hey, don't call me Charlie. It's Charles, not Charlie. Oh, but you're too sweet to be a Charles. Your adorable, rugged hangdog look just screams Charlie to me. Puts a smile on my face. Oh, fine. What does EOD stand for? Everyone's obvious duty. When we began, it also had is to help each other. But we dropped that part. It was a little bit wordy. It's been great chatting with you, but I'm actually here to speak with the EOD leadership. You know where I can find them? <laughs> Not so fast, Charlie. Nobody meets the top brass without being a member. You need to earn a rank in the EOD first. Oh, 
You're kidding me. What for? <laughs> you need to prove yourself. Show us through your actions that you're worth our time. No offense, Charlie. So, uh, are there any benefits for joining the EOD? We don't do this for money, Charlie. We do this because it's the right thing to do. Think of it as working towards a higher purpose. All right, well, how do I do how this? can I join? That all depends on what skills you can offer us. What do you do best? Huh. Well, I'm afraid my resume's in my other jacket. Let me see. I was in the Navy during the war. Never since it ended, I've been a private eye. <sighs> the sea provides. Turns out we have a job that's a perfect fit for you. Uh, you need me to sail somewhere? I have a boat. As much as I'd love to go sailing with you... I didn't ask you to go sailing with me. I asked you if you needed me to sail somewhere. Okay. Tell me more about this job. Well... Last night, someone tried to break into our fish storage room. Luckily, the guards scared him off, but I fear they'll be back to finish the job. That's why we've been busy today giving away all the fish to the people. We'd rather it get into the hands of the needy than to some thief. And you want me to find whoever this thief is, right? <laughs> You're smart, Charlie. <laughs> I like it. Exactly. Fine. Count me in. Good. Thank you. Here's the address. Tell the guard the password, I serve the C, and he'll let you into the storeroom. I serve the C. I serve the C. I serve the C. See you later. I serve the C. Alright, so there's not enough food in Oakmont. So you're slowly starving to death, so the EOD is giving fish away for free. Helps prevent famine. Okay. Fish storage is in the western shells on Hawking Lane. Hawking Lane. Between Warren Road and Liberty Road. Okay. Bye. Skip a little bit by going down here. So we're going on this boat and we'll head straight across, right? Yeah, straight across and then to the left. I served the sea. Anna sent me here to investigate the recent break-in. <sighs> I see me praised. Finally. I'm Daryl. Daryl Grimes. Are you related to Rick? You. Can you tell me what happened? Don't skimp on the details. <sighs> Not much to tell, sadly. It was a man that much I know. He snuck in while I was upstairs, tried to steal the fishies, but I heard him. 
nearly got him with a harpoon by Kay. But I missed in the dark. He got away, that Dane. But I wonder, why steal what you can get for free? Yeah, that's a bit of a puzzler. What did this burglar look like? Same height as you. Not too big, not too small. Nothing to write home about. An average Joe. If not for his, uh, bald head. That guy was as bald as an egg. I could see the moonlight reflecting off the top of his head. And what did he steal? Nothing. I scared him off before he could. Sorry, I'm just trying to clean my fucking glasses. Where did he go after that? Don't know, pal. He was way faster than me. What's the deal with the, the password and such? Orders from the higher-ups. I don't get to ask why. All right. Well, that's enough for now, Mr. Grimes. I've got to go to work. Here, take the key. May the sea bless you. Guard's testimony. Wow. It pierced a good inch of solid wood like it was nothing. Okay. Let's piss the rounds. The hall's fresh, still smells of the sea. No signs of decomposition at all. Knowledge point. Let's see here. Um, all right, we can do this with the revolver. Again, we don't have the shotgun or the rifle yet, so things dead as a doornail, but. I don't see any wounds. So first it ate the fish, and now it's dead. That's troubling. It's a weird cat and rat thing. All right, some fucking some scary music for the road there? Secret room? I have questions. Torture room. Why would they need that? Did I look in here? I don't know if I did. That's a fancy looking bottle. Looks like it was taken from a lab somewhere. There's some kind of powder left on the bottom. I better not touch it. Could be dangerous. Okay. I already looked in here, but. Uh, let me see.
The fish is poisonous. Okay. So the poison fish is spreading. Large quantities of possible poison fish have already just been distributed to these poorer citizens. guy must really be into his hobby to have such impressive tools. Nice work. When I was a kid, I would have gone nuts for this. Well, if it was finished, that is. Letter from the Orphanage. Dear Mr. Grimes, we can't thank you enough for what you do for the children. In these dark times, your toys go down like a tall glass of water. We all pray for your good health every day. We also kindly remind you that we still await your visit. All our staff, and of course the children, are eager to finally meet our benefactor in person. So please, don't hesitate and come as soon as you are able with eternal gratitude. Administration of the Oakmont St. Jerome's Orphanage. Alright, so now we have a... A, a, a tear. Just a little bit more. Professor Westerbrook never learns about this. Come back, you thief. I'll show you not to mess with us. So, I think I, I know what the order is. So, it is this one here. I hope Professor Westerbrook then that one. A little bit more. Oh, no. So, he was sneaking around. He was poisoning the fish. And then this guy Our heard pests. noise. So, he thought, it was, take them. he thought it was a pest. And then he saw it was a thief. Come back, you thief. I'll show you not to mess with us. A man broke into the fish storage, poisoned the fish with an unknown substance, then made a noise which alerted the guard, who chased him out. Alright, so all evidence collected. Um, so... Poisoner mentioned Professor Westbrook. Poisoner in the university. Man who broke into the EOD fish storage is somehow connected to the university. I need to visit the university. You dig up anything interesting? I sure did. Turns out our friend here wasn't here to rob the place. He came to poison the fish. By the sea. Are you sure? Well, that's what the evidence suggests, anyway. Okay. This is horrible. Please don't tell Anna it was my fault, or she'll have me quartered. Anna will quarter you. <laughs> You're joking about that, right? Wish I was. Anna, she's... Ruthless when it comes to punishing the guilty, EOD member or not. That's unexpected. Well, unfortunately for you, I have to tell her. So. Look, nothing personal, Daryl. But I need to tell Anna the truth. Okay. All those people might suffer because I. Be 
because I do what you must, Mr. Reed. If it's that bad, maybe you should skip town, hide somewhere. You don't understand, Mr. Reed. You can't hide from your own conscience. I found a hidden room full of shackles and chains downstairs. Looks like some kind of torture chamber. Know anything about it? What? Stop talking, Drock. That can't be true. I know this place top to bottom. Now, Daryl, you know I'm a detective. And if you're lying, I'm going to find out one way or another. I've got nothing to do with it, I swear, Mr. Reed. Go ask Anna. She's responsible for renting the place. I know nothing about this. Okay. I'll talk to Anna. We'll see if your story holds up. Uh, can you remind me where I can find the Oakmont University? You can't miss it. It's the greatest thing Oakmont has to offer. Except maybe our famous caramelized eel stew. Give me your map. There you go. But don't forget to first report your findings to Anna. See ya. May the sea protect you. Alright, Oakmont University. We can go get this fast travel point. So yeah, I gotta go back to the fish market. Okay, so now we'll go talk to Anna. And tell her about the poisoning of the fish. I've got news about your fish storage problem. Oh, I'm all ears, Charlie. It only looked like a robbery. <coughs> Some guy broke into the storage to poison the fish. Near as I can tell, he succeeded, at least partially. I realize it's a lot to take on faith. Look, I've got a sample of what I think is the poison. Though I can't identify it yet. <sighs> Say protect us. That's terrible. Wh what kind of man would do such a thing, and why? I don't know. But I aim to find out. We need to stop distributing the fish. We have to let everyone know about this. Kay knows how many people might already be affected. Any theories on who might have done this? Any enemies? <laughs> The EOD has a lot of enemies. Wicked people that want to burn this city or drown it in blood. It could be anyone. It could be the police, the Ku Klux Klan, see take them, or even the Throgmortons. See take them. We were always yeah. a thorn in the side of those apes. Let's get rid of the fucking clan. What do you want me to do with the poisoner once I find it? Oh my god, do you think I'll get to kill clan members in this? Oh, that'd be fun. If I were you. That'll, that'll brighten my day. These days. That wasn't the deal. I'm a detective, not a hitman. Fair enough. Fair enough. Report to me when you find him. I'll see that the reward will be more than handsome. Let, let's just you know break that down. I'll uh, see what I can do. One let's just break that down. Me. I am a detective, Regarding not a hitman. Daryl. I've clearly killed dozens upon dozens of creatures. Your guard was vigilant. He fought bravely, but the poisoner knocked him out. You ask me? He yeah, he did face. throw a spear at him. All dependable, Daryl. I hope he's okay. I'll see he gets his due. Goodbye, Charlie. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell him at least that he's doing good. I found what looks suspiciously like a dungeon in the basement of your fish storage. Care to explain? Excuse me. You found what? 
A dungeon. Chains, shackles, and blood. Ring any bells? Oh, I have no idea what you're talking about. But it sounds awful. We, we only started renting the place a few weeks ago. This is, she's oh, bullshit. Goodness. She's bullshitting me. I'm going to have to ask our landlord several uncomfortable questions, it seems. Thanks for the heads up, Charlie. Now, refresh my memory. Where's, uh, where's the university here? I know it very well. Here, give me your map and I'll show you. Oh, seems you've already marked it. You were a student there, I take it. Yes, that's right. I earned my degree there a while ago. Are you surprised? I just wasn't expecting to see a college graduate working here is all. I never had the opportunity myself. I could say I'm a bit jealous. You'll find that here in Oakmont, a woman can achieve much more than on the mainland. Our university has always accepted women with open arms. See you later. Okay, well, um, so... University library. That's where we want to go. Guard is afraid of Anna. Okay, just want to make sure those aren't connected. Yeah, but we told him that he did a good job, so... City Halls, the University, okay. So, do I actually have to visit the University, or... I'm assuming it's this, right? Not the university library. Oh, this looks like a church. Is this a church? Yeah, it is. I guess I can go to the universe. I can go to the library. It says like on the map. Oh no, it's over here. Well, fuck. I knew I wasn't going to the right fucking place. So Reed Heights, we gotta. We're gonna have to do a fucking walk. Okay. I guess we got nothing out of that.
just keep going down here. Just trying to see on the map if, uh, if a, like a fast travel pops up. I only have like one fast travel in this part of the city, so... Let's peel up, too. And we should probably truck some stuff. Hey, what do you fucking stop it? Ah, here we go. Okay, university. Don't exactly know where I'm going here, but Wendell sent you to deliver me the books, right? Um, no, you must have me confused with someone else. Oh, excuse me. I'm just worried for the fate of these tomes. It's been a week without news from Wendell. Maybe you can help me. I'd reward you, of course. Why not? What can I do? Oh, marvelous. Let's get acquainted then. Samuel Hopes, honorary member of Altera Parr's book club. Charles Reed, private eye. Good, good. Listen, we're missing three rare books. One was taken for restoration while the other two were being studied. I asked Wendell to contact all parties, but he's gone quiet. Here's our records. Please, retrieve the tomes. They're so very valuable. Why are they so valuable? They're the third, seventh, and ninth tomes written by the humble servant. The collection of all eleven books is our most prized possession. The author's real name is a mystery, but we know that he was an Oakmonter for sure. Okay, I'm on it. Bye. Alright, well, let's do that later. I guess I'll go here? Well, where the fuck am I supposed to go? Welcome to, to the University of Oakmont. <laughs> How can I help you? I'm looking for Professor Westerbrook. You know where I can find him? You're, you're, you're the one bringing him the specimen? Uh, specimen? Oh, oh n never mind. Uh, uh, he, he's in the de Department of Medicine. Let, let, let me show you. You recognize this bottle? You know where it comes from? Uh, uh, sorry. <laughs> we have... Hundreds of b bottles like this in the university. Uh, fine. I need to know what's in it. Any suggestions? Ah, uh, you need an, a an analysis. Well, I'm sure someone from the Department of Medicine c c can help there. You have a good day. G g goodbye, sir. 
where the fuck is that? Okay, it's over What's here. Problem? Uh, my problem is you're in my fucking way. That's my problem. Problem is I'm trying to walk and you're standing in the way. Sir, welcome to Oldmont University Department of Medicine. I'm Samuel. Uh, Charles Reed, private investigator. I have a few questions if you don't mind. You recognize this bottle? Maybe you could tell me what's inside. Hmm. That's one of our lab bottles. We have a lot of them. As for what's inside, I'd need to run some tests. Yeah, could you do that for me? These tests aren't cheap. And the other day, I could get right to it, but we're, uh, somewhat hindered right now. What's up? Our lab is crawling with, well, creatures. Professor Westerbrook's research is a little unconventional, and something went wrong. Really wrong. So, if I do a little pest control for you, you'll run those tests for me. For free? Our budget is tight. You'd be helping the cause of science, Mr. Reed. Isn't that enough? Oh, I guess science could help itself. All right. Yes, you solve our problem, and I'll run the test for you. Off the books. Here's the key for the basement. Yeah, don't try to fucking hustle me, pal. All right, let's poke around a little bit in here, see if we can find anything. Welcome to the Department of Medicine. Welcome. Welcome to the Department of Medicine. EOD is banned. To all staff and students of the University of Oakmont, henceforth any mention of the Everyone's Obvious Duty organization, also known as EOD, its symbolics, current and or past members, as well as espousing their beliefs is forbidden on university grounds on pain of dismissal and or expulsion. The administration has received numerous reports of EOD activity and outreach disguised as so-called charity work throughout our university and all over Oakmont. This dangerous activity has reached epidemic proportions and cannot be tolerated. Administration of Board of Trustees. <sighs> the door won't budge. So it seems like they have a problem with the EOD. Hence the reason why somebody from the EOD seemingly has taken upon themselves... Wow, that was it? Two fucking dudes? You're telling me you couldn't have solved that on your own? What kind of person would even touch this? Not to mention dissect it. Experiment log part one. March 2nd. I have finally received a living specimen. Sadly, it's the... It's only... The smallest one. The grunts call it Mr. Handsome, but I think it needs a proper name. March 3rd. I was thinking about the name for the specimen all night. I began a series of experiments on the creature. So far, it has proven exceptionally resistant to all the poisonous substances at my disposal, as well as acid and electrocution. Its shrieking, though, is bound to haunt me. March 5th. Last night, I had a vision. Thousands of hands wrapped around me as a blanket. I heard my name inside my head. Stygian Harvester. Some serious equipment they've got here. Oakmont University is clearly well funded. <laughs> I'm glad this thing is dead. Why do they even keep it here? Experiment log part two. March 10th. With those pesky limitations removed, I can finally continue my experiments unhindered. I need to know more. The specimen remained alive even with half of its internal organs removed. It's fascinating. I'm on the verge of a breakthrough in biology as we know it. March 15th. I developed a way to reanimate their tissue, even in one that's been dead for weeks. This is monumental. The possibilities of it. The implications. 
Does this hint at something hidden, some trait present inside other creatures, and perhaps even ourselves? I need to find volunteers. Oh yeah, let's, let's experiment on people now. The EOD ranks are swelling. Let's just make sure that we draw those out. I know that they don't go together, but I just want to make sure I clear them out. Future reference. All right, pal. I did your lab work. Your lab is certified creature free. Two Excellent, of them. Mr. Reed, you've done us a great favor. Now we can get things up and running again. Your lab was, uh, interesting. Running experiments on those creatures, what's up with that? Oh, they're fascinating, aren't they? Convincing evidence of new branches in the evolutionary tree. Can you blame us for taking an interest? Maybe not, but so much dead flesh down there, that's going to attract scavengers. Didn't you think about that? Uh, hmm. Yeah, well, no. <laughs> Well, be more careful in the future. Your point's taken. Okay. I've done my part. Here's the bottle. Now you run those tests. Uh, yes. Wait here. It shouldn't take long. We finished that analysis, sir. It's, well, it's, it's ricin. 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 A highly toxic poison extracted from castor beans. It's slow acting, but absolutely fatal to humans. So, where do you get ricin? This isn't something you can pick up from a drugstore. Ah, uh, about that. It is rare, but we have a certain amount of it here. For study, in our poison store. Or we did. I'm afraid that must be where it came from. The label had been tampered with, but it certainly looks like ours. Where did you find it? Ah, crime scene. Someone was trying to poison a bunch of fish with it. This is horrible. I need to warn everyone in the university about this. How can you tell if someone's been poisoned with ricin? The symptoms take several days to develop. At first, it's like a common cold. But over several days, well, it develops into hemorrhage, internal organ failure, and death. It's not a pleasant way to die. There's some kind of cure for ricin? I'm afraid not. Once it's in your system, it's a death sentence. Who's got access to where the poison's stored? Only Professor Westerbrook has the key. His office is upstairs, right alongside Professor Cavendish's. Professor Westerbrook's not here, though. He's been sick for the last few days. Oh. Professor Cavendish Maybe he's been poisoned with the, with the ricin. Vacation. And where do they live? I'm not sure but probably somewhere in Advent. Most of the teaching staff live there. Wait, you don't think it was one of them? I'm working on that. Can you let me upstairs? I... well... All right. This is serious. I'll help you. Here's the key, but please don't disturb the professor's things. Can you fill me in on rice and... Of course. Oh, okay. I'll see. I'd like to know what did uh yeah tell me about the professors I want to know more about Westerbrook he's the head of our department he's been here for well at least 30 years he's one of the longest serving staff we have as you've already seen he's particularly interested in the wild beast that recently appeared in our city yeah that's quite the unique fauna you have there I've no idea how he did it but Mr. Throgmorton's men brought him live specimens for his research. He thinks he's on the verge of a breakthrough in evolutionary theory. A secret that once revealed will benefit all humankind. <sighs> Some secret should stay buried. Six feet under. 
You're not a man of science. Some secret should stay buried six it's feet under. Why. It's about what if. Or, uh, what if we made a bunch of dinosaurs and put them in a park? How, well, that didn't turn out very good either. So. What can you tell me about Professor Cavendish? He's one of the most brilliant teachers we have here. A PhD at only 25. Just imagine. His biochemistry studies are second to none. Worthy of a Nobel Prize. If he could complete his work. What's his problem? I don't know. There's some kind of family trouble. It's made him standoffish and irritable. And easily distracted. I hope he gets through whatever he's going through. We need his talent, especially in these dark times. Okay. I'll see you later. Alright, so... Westerbrook has access to poison. Let's just get all these out of the way. Right. I like to have them red so I know that they're... Like, I, I know what I've gone through. So it seems like there's, like, a scuffle or, like, a... a, 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 a the, the, the beginnings of a war happening between the EOD and the EOD and um, like the university professors. I mean, I, I know it sounds kind of silly, but like it's, it's seeming like, you know, uh, the EOD is being attacked by these professors. No from Professor West Westerbrook. This is absurd. It's been five months and they still haven't finished repairing my office. I'm done sitting in the corridor like some kind of waiter. I won't step foot into this building again until the works are finished. Or you give me Cavendish's office. You tell that to the board. I'm through with this farce. All right, Karen. The door won't budge. You imagine he just hears These that. bottles look exactly the same. There's a ton of ricin in, in there. And these bottles look exactly look how much the rice same in. as the one with the poison. He's got like one, two, three, four, five. He's probably got like ten or eleven bottles in here. Absolute fucking madman. Key imprint. This should be good enough to make a decent copy. Oh. Draft of an article. Brothers and sisters crossed out. Too familiar. My fellow Americans crossed out. They are Americans too. Citizens of Oakmont. Uh, how much longer will we put up with those fish face bass? Crossed out. Those sea freaks crossed out. How much longer will we put up with this? Those K forsaken degenerates who call themselves the EOD crossed out. <laughs> All right, well, we got all the evidence. All right, well, yeah, Cavendish made a, a spare key. All right, so the poison thief. George Cavendish, a professor at Oakmont, is a poison thief. He made himself a copy of the key to the poison locker. According to a student, he lives somewhere in Advent. Uh, okay. He lives in Advent. Uh, let's put these books down as well. So, Western Shells. Uh, Inner Sh uh, Shrine Street. Between Windswept Road and Justice Ave. So, yeah, right here. Uh, Southern Reed Heights. Uh, single attached manor on Baker Street. Well, 
Ba, 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 da, 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 da. Baker Street. Baker Street is here. Uh, between Hurricane Road and Ambrose Street. So, yeah, right, basically here. Uh, the third book. The Bank of Oakmont. Uh, Oakmont. The Summer in Advent. Okay, so I'm going to have to find that. Um, okay, so the university professor this summer in Advent. I'd like to. What do you. I want. He's the head of. As you've already seen. Yeah. I. He thinks he's on the verge. <sighs> Your. What can. He's. His. I hope. I'll see you later. Okay. Um, so... Where are we going to go to figure this out? City Hall, maybe? That's where we would, like, find... Because, like, the library is for, like, research for books. So this is for crimes. For old newspaper stuff. Hospitals are for medical patients. So City Hall, I guess? Find something you like. Cheaper than the red. See, again, like, th th some of these roads are op big enough, they're, like, wide enough and open enough that you could fit a vehicle in them. Or, like, some kind of a, of a, uh, like a bike or a motorcycle or something, like, any, you know, like, and if you're gonna, if you're gonna make it where I have to walk, you might as well give me, like, a sprint. Okay, so let's turn here. Watch yourself. Why don't you make me? Make me watch myself. <clears throat> I'm the detective who has to search through this whole city. You can't tell me what to do. Not even the police can tell me what to do. I blew away a police officer just a little while ago. Who was shooting at me for no reason. Well, I did hit him. That's not necessarily untrue. Alright, so let's see. The Poison Thief. Um, the Poison Thief. So he lives in Advent. Citizens, uh, Citizen Records, Advent, George Walter Cavendish, date of birth, January 26, 1883, Oakmont, Mass, so yeah, he's divorced apparently. Also, while we're here, should we look up this guy? So, we're looking for a citizen, occupation, and advent. Yeah, Benjamin Miller, clerk of the bank, his address. Cool. 
So central advent. Uh, Carpenter Street between benevolent tides. And Hawthorne. So here. Um, and then Cavendish. Advent Central on St. Michael's Road. Between Carpenter Street and Constitution Street. Constitution Street, Carpenter Street. So it's going to be like right here. Okay. No, not gonna buy your goddamn paper. Find something you like. I'm not buying your fish. I'm not buying your paper. I'm not buying a damn thing. Speaking of buying stuff, is any of you watching uh, excited? For the Riftmaster PDP guitar to come out. It sold out like pretty much within oh, five or six hours or so around there. Like on every website ever. I'm guessing this is it. I bought one on Amazon because I wanted it for Rock Band 4. So I'm in the process of wanting to get all of... So it says flat too. I'm in the process of getting all my music and stuff moved over. I want to move it to a new Xbox, like a Xbox Series S. Because I have it on an Xbox One. And God, it just looks like shit. I'm not even... My fucking headset just turned off. That's the weirdest shit. Alright, well, we're going to leave it here. And then when we come back next time, we're going to... I think maybe my headset needs to charge. So we're going to leave it here. And then when we come back next time, we will, uh, we will break into George's house and snoop around. So take care, everybody. I'll see you all on the next one. Goodbye.